Swim briefs, competition briefs, swimming trunks, bathers, racer bathers, posing briefs, racing briefs, speedos, budgie smugglers. The standard in men's competitive swimwear is also the cause of much disdain. With women of all shapes and sizes wearing bikinis, why has it become so popular in some places to hate on the swimming brief? When we were smaller, we grew up in them. We swam in galas in them, we went to the beach in them. In Europe and Brazil, they're stock standard. Nobody will so much as turn their heads if you're wearing one. But in countries like the US and the UK, people react with shock and horror. Swim briefs aren't just worn because you're trying to show off. They're used by athletes in water sports all over the world and have better ease of movement in the water without chafing. Not to mention quick drying time, better sun exposure so you don't have those pasty leg tans, and you can wear them under your pants or shorts to make getting ready for your swim quick and easy. The day I got my first new car, <laughs> which I happened to get in red, mainly because it looked the best in the showroom. My boss made a comment about how everything I have is red. I have a red phone cover and red sunglasses that were sitting on my desk when I was showing her pictures of the car. When she said that, I got an idea for the thumbnail for the inevitable video I would make on the new car. I would wear my red swim briefs, which I use for swimming training or wearing under my board shorts when going to the beach or hanging by the pool, my red sunglasses, hold my phone in its red cover, and stand next to my red car with the stunning blue Caribbean ocean in the background. It's rare to think of a thumbnail before you've even started making a video, but I thought this was going to be funny and look really cool. After convincing a friend who I think thought I was joking about the red speedo part of the idea, we went out to shoot the thumbnail and he brought along a red umbrella to add some more craziness to the shot. While we were at it, we got our creative juices flowing and shot some other cool pictures with the same items. What I didn't anticipate from this, perhaps because I was being naive, was the response to the pictures. A lot of friends teased me with my favorite line being about me running around in my underwear, which is their job as friends, so more power to them. Some some people reacted with shock like I'd done something out of character by wearing swim briefs. There were the supporters and then there were the creepers who post weird pervy speedo pictures online. Any really good picture pushes the boundaries and gets people talking, so I kind of love that the pictures did that. But it made me think about why for some people, this particular clothing item draws such strong emotions. Are we as men ashamed of our bodies? Are we jealous of other people's bodies? Is this a cultural thing? Why does a picture in a speedo running around on the beach get people talking? And these weird pictures people take in the gym bathroom mirror fine. People stop taking pictures in the toilet, that's not a place you should be in for any longer than is required. It's interesting. While I agree we need to be culturally sensitive, sometimes we throw our own insecurities onto other people, and that's dangerous. Some people would go as far as saying that only super fit people should wear swim briefs, but that's like saying only supermodels should wear bikinis. Where do you draw the line between feeling confident in your own skin and modesty, or comfort over fashionability? Whilst I've been sold on the popular disdain for crocs, many people love how comfortable they are and couldn't care less whether you think they're fashionable or not. Maybe swim briefs are like crocs. People will point them out and snigger, but secretly they wish they were as comfortable and confident as the person wearing them. Why do you think swim briefs are so controversial? Let's have a discussion in the comments below. Hit subscribe for weekly videos and ring my bell so you don't miss a beat. See you next week.